guests. I want to play something from Jay Leno. Uh, he was a guest of mine recently. He had something to say about cancel culture and about crafting your uh, acts and your lines and your bits um, with the accommodation of how other people feel. And this is what Jay Leno had to say. Take a look. I used to meet so many comedians ago. You know, they didn't laugh at me. At them. I'm not going back to that place. All right. So who did you teach a lesson to them? No, you just <laughs> launched yourself a job. I mean, uh, yeah, adapt or die. That's that's the world we live in. Dean, Dean, what do you think? Adapt or die or just go ahead and do your act? I think, you know, Jay Leno actually has adapted it. People may recall a few weeks ago, he apologized to the Asian American community for jokes he had made furthering stereotypes about eating dogs and such. And for years, he refused to apologize. But he came to his own epiphany that it was wrong and that he was furthering stereotypes at a time when there was a spike in anti-Asian American hate crime. So look, I think we all grow as people. A comedian is a human. And I think it's good if you grow. And look, the reality is famous comedians are held to a different standard than comedians in the clubs in New York who are not well known. In the clubs, they're saying everything just about. People don't know it. They're not well known. They're not held, called out. More famous comedians are held to a different standard. That's life. You're a millionaire. Mm -hmm. You're going to piss people off. People are going to push back on you. It's up to you. You want to continue to piss people off? It's your choice. But I, I prefer comedy that's smarter and, and punches up at people in power, not down at minorities or people without power. That's just me. It is the marketplace, right? It, it is the marketplace and you got to, uh, you know, you got to serve your market. Okay. I want you guys to look at Seth Meyers. He, um, he did sort of his news update on what happened with Facebook and the decision over whether uh, former President Trump should be allowed to uh, come back to the platform. This is Seth Meyers' take on it. Take a peek. Facebook's oversight board announced today that it will uphold the company's decision to suspend former President Trump's account. So whatever else you think of the guy, he did find a way to leave Facebook. <laughs> By the way, Ben, I think that the, the story itself is funny, but that little moment where you don't hear the laughter because it's COVID, I, I'm still stuck on the fact that everyone's doing these jokes and then not getting the, the feedback from the house. I wonder if as a comedian you feel that moment or if we're all just used to it now. Well, to that point, I do for sure feel that. I don't know why shows have done that. I actually created during the pandemic the world's first virtual comedy club called Nowhere Comedy Club and we have live audiences and through Zoom, through virtual shows, you can hear people laughing and I don't know why the big network shows are not embracing that. People can, can feel free to come and see shows with real laughter even from the safety of their homes. But these last two topics are very interrelated because they're, they're free speech issues and I do agree that comedy clubs are the last bastion of free speech in our nation and so we do need to give comedians leeway i have a joke that you know where i say forgive us comedians if we're a little bit slower up here because now we have to put everything we say through a filter of will this ruin my life so you got to give us an extra yeah. second that is tougher but i do agree with dean at the same time and with jay leno you have to punch up and you have to be able to evolve with the times i disagree with cancel culture to a point where we are trying to cancel people who've said things in the past based on norms that were okay in the past. If the person has grown and apologized for that, that should absolutely be something that we accept and realize that we all said and did things that were okay back. Yeah, that's the way the law works, right? If we change the law, we don't yes. retroactively go and arrest people. That's just how we have decided as a culture. It's, it's fair. Uh, it's right, okay. it's ex post facto. A hundred percent. You have Look to be able you. to move on. Thank you very much. Ben Ex post facto. Wow. <laughs> Actually, he hits us with a Latin on a Friday gonna, night. I didn't know there's going to be Latin in this segment. I am not prepared for any Latin. I'm sorry. <laughs> there there might be math as well, so math be careful. And <laughs> but that said, sorry to get all legal on you, but that said also, you can't take free speech to the point of inciting violence. And that's why I think while you want to give leeway to artists and to comedians in the current moment, based on current norms, you want to also expect them to be upstanding citizens. It doesn't mean you accept a president or a former president with great influence over people inciting violence mm. or pushing lies that can create such discord in our country that literally our democracy is at the brink of collapse with people trying to not allow an election to be certified and our democracy to continue. I think that's a very fair line. I think the advisory board for Facebook made a very good decision, uh, ex post facto or not. And now I don't even know what it means.